guys, so today I'm going to give you two story time videos. Now, I didn't get a chance to do that on Monday because I didn't have enough time to do that. So, I'm going to do it right now. So, the first story is about a shooting that happened across from me. Now, there are these hillbilly neighbors, you know, that's always outside doing shit, you know, or whatever. And there's always something going on. But one night while my mom and her boyfriend was out, you know, I was at home alone. And I just happened to hear these noises coming from outside. Now, I didn't know what it was at first, but I would assume, you know, somebody was doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing. And I come to realize that somebody was out there shooting a gun at someone. I didn't know who at the time though but something was happening out there so I decided to look outside the window from my living room you know to see you know what was going on now I didn't see anybody out there you know because they're on the other side you know so uh but I called my mom, you know, about the situation, and she told me that she was on her way home and to not worry. And I said, okay, and hung up. And I'm just shaken up and really scared at this point. I don't know what to do, you know. So once my mom arrived, you know, I told her about what happened. And she, you know, of course, convinces me not to worry and, and you know, not to, I guess, um, not let it get to me, but it did, because it's like, put yourself in my shoes, how would you feel, you know, if you were home alone, and you hear some popping noises, you think it's, it's like firecrackers or something, but now, somebody's out there shooting, you know, at whoever, and I'm thinking to myself, well, what if I was out there, and I you know, was getting shot at. Something, you know, would have happened to me. You know, so I wish that my mother would have taken this situation seriously. Luckily, the guy, you know, who had the gun, he got locked up. And hopefully he doesn't come back anytime soon. Because that shit was horrible. You know, what I witnessed. You know, that was like, kind of traumatizing to me. And I'll never forget that. That shit was crazy. Yeah, so it it was it was not a good <laughs> good uh moment for me. Yeah, so the next story is about online dating. Now I don't know if you guys ever experienced online dating before or not, but I used to do that years ago. You know, like in my teen years, you know, I was on this dating site called Meet Me, and it's a website where you go to meet people, you know, and talk to them, get to know them, stuff like that. You know, I remember talking to some guy, and then I stupidly gave the dude my address, and he actually showed up at my house, you know, unannounced. And once he arrived, you know, he had texted me that he was here. But I didn't open the door or anything because I was too scared. I knew good and well not to uh, give someone an address who I didn't know. So then the guy, you know, texted me back, you know, wondering, you know, if I was going to open the door or whatever. But I just told him, you know, just leave and shit like that. And that's what he did. And he uh, told me not to contact him. You know, that was just fucking... Uh, really scary <laughs> for me and I would I you know know not to do that ever again and then another time uh, where I was dating this guy named Michael Anthopoulos you know I dated him online for like a couple months and he had you know this page on Mocha Space and apparently he used to be like a wrestler or something but um yeah dating him wasn't good at all 
because the relationship started getting rocky and of course he accused me of cheating which never happened so it was just weird and and <laughs> but uh yeah good thing that I ended it with him and uh I don't talk to him anymore and I don't care to know what he's up to today so I don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah so but it's like if you're a wrestler or whatever then you think you know that I would have seen you on TV or something I just think he made the whole story up you know, I haven't seen any pictures of him, you know, with any other wrestlers, you know, professional-wise. I haven't seen him on SmackDown Raw, you know, or say, like, AEW or TNA Impact, you know, just to name a few. Or even NXT. So, I feel that the guy was lying, you know, about his career, and he wasn't being honest or truthful about who he was, you know, in general, so... Yeah, so that's that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you give it a like and make sure to view it as well. And also subscribe to my channel too. Alright? Oh, and I will be doing an unboxing video for you guys too. Alright? After this. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.